Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some monster news to talk about. We have a ton of leaks to go over from more core refresh leaks of Cleo, Frankie, Laguna, uh, more G3 Caddy leaks. We have information for what could be series three of the G3 core dolls, including perhaps Howlene and Nefra, Jennifer, question mark. And we also have the full breakdown for the season one finale episode. So stay tuned and let's get into it. First up, the core refresh leak. Uh, this was shared by at the doll heart on Twitter. I'm not where I'm not sure what the actual source is of the image because it you can kind of see here uh, uh, above of the you know the, the dolls we can see the monster high logo and it's cut off so this has to be from somewhere else uh, but I'm not sure where. So we already saw a really good clear picture of Spectre so we're not going to talk about her today <laughs> um, and we'll talk about Caddy's better image later on. So let's take a closer look at the core refresh dolls. So here. here is Laguna. It's a clear image for her and Frankie. For Clear, we already saw a good image of her, but still, uh, you know, this is a, a little bit better for Laguna. So we can better see here her outfit. Um, it seems to be, you know, like the print on the white on the pink uh, part, and then she has like a mesh layer underneath, or maybe it's like one piece. I like the necklaces. I like the two uh, little buns, and then her hair seems to be uh, pretty long um, and wavy and then she is wearing these huge uh, pants that are really wide um, with a belt uh, around her waist and the actual pants themselves seem to be kind of like see-through with the material on the lower half like past her um, thighs so that's interesting it seems to have also like a some kind of pattern like a you know like so you know it's coral pattern <laughs> so that's very interesting I think it's super it, it looks super cool um, so I'm definitely very curious to see, you know, a clear image of like the actual design because like it could look good, it could be messy, um, but to me that the pants just look really awesome, so I, I can't wait. And then we also see at the very bottom Neptuna, and she's in a new pose. So this is not just a rehash of the already already existing mold of Neptuna. This is a this is a brand new mold for Neptuna with a new expression as well. So it looks really cute, and I wonder what accessories she will come with. And I'll go over. Cleo again here even though you know again we have had a technically better picture of her in a previous video but uh, and I don't think the actual doll it's just yeah no it's the same picture of her um but still I she, she looks amazing I think she really does um this is uh actually okay this is the last image was clearer but the last image was an actual picture of the picture here it's the actual picture itself of cleo so that's that's better i guess uh it's not as blurry or pixelated um so yeah i just love the top with the fringe on the sleeves the puffy sleeves and necklace the skirt with the wraparound teal um uh you know, uh, d -d -d tool, tool, yeah, the the like mesh looking part in the front, tied and teal. That looks really interesting. Um, and I like the hairdo with the teal and like light, uh, like almost like um, ice blue strands in her hair, the bangs. Uh, I don't know if she has gold in her her hair isn't that like a thing with her usually she has got like like gold mixture but i think in g3 she's more she's had more like mixtures of blue and dark blue in her hair so i'm kind of missing the gold i wish she had more gold in her hair to, to kind of like you know tie into the outfit um but i love the high ponytail like i think that's so cute um and then the earrings the little hair clips adorable i love the dark lip um it seems that laguna is the only one from the core refresh line to not have a dark lip so that's interesting uh but i think it fits laguna i mean like if she i guess she could have a dark lip it would also be cool but like we have for, we've seen a leak for monster fest laguna and there she seems to have a dark lipstick so that's exciting so Going back to Cleo, um, the makeup's really fierce. And then the heels, I love how one of the heels has like a wrap around um, thing around her, you know, thighs. Uh, no, around her, um, around her like knee portion. <laughs> it's like, it's like really, it's like right there. Um, and, uh, it looks really cool. Like I like the details on the shoes as well, with the scarabs and teal. And then uh, his set is included here instead of Tut. I guess they they thought, you know what? Let's just get rid of Tut. We don't care about him. Uh, and we never even saw him in the animated series. So it's really just like they only had him for like at, to be a pet twice, and then 
now he's gone again so now we have his set cleo's actual proper pet from g1 so and she's in a new pet uh she's in a new shape so his set is also not a rehash she's also sporting a brand new um mold so she's sitting here so that's really good and then we have frankie and it's interesting unlike the other dolls uh frankie has had the least amount of change really design wise to their outfit like really the silhouette is the same except for the shorts like instead of a skirt they are wearing a pair of shorts uh but like design wise like the, the the jacket has the same frame the shirt underneath looks very similar the hairstyle is basically the same the shoes even are are like the same you know like they look almost the same mold like if it was you know like just it's all black that's the difference <laughs> so i think yeah that's the biggest difference it's like the shorts and also that they're wearing mostly black except for the neon green and the neon blue but that's it like in and i guess that is a contrast to their original core doll which is more like pastels blue a little bit of pink you know um here there's no pink at all there's just a little bit of blue a little bit of green um and mostly everything else is just black and white so um that's a that's the biggest change and i i don't know i, I feel like they could have gone more in a stylistic uh, experimental uh you know way they could have explored you know more more to frankie's style but this is fine it just feels safe to me you know it just feels very like you know not risky at all <laughs> it's so cute i still like the jacket um it, it's interesting how they you know paired out the neon green with the neon blue um yeah and then the the, the split shorts with the different prints the the jacket the the shirt looks interesting i wonder what kind of like fabric fabric that is yeah and then the hairstyle even is also like the same the the hairstyle and also the two clips exactly the same like like the original core doll so i do wish that they would have done something different with the hair or the shoes or like you know something different somewhere else um other than it being mostly black and that's like the biggest difference right it just like it's they're still cute but like i feel like you know could have been more like visually grasping to oh me. and watsy also has a brand new look in silver and a new pose and moving on here we have a much better picture of g3 caddy's doll and what could be her final design, again, these are most likely still prototypes of these characters, of these dolls. Um, and so when they actually get released, they might look a little bit different. But I, I kind of feel like this is what we'll see of Caddy when she actually releases. Design-wise, her outfit, I don't think it'll change. Maybe like the face greeting will change a little bit. Maybe some couple of, you know, fixes here and there with the hair or, or like paint job is a little bit different on her shoes. But I think overall design wise like this is probably how we'll see her show up uh more or less next year when we actually physically um see her so caddy looks amazing i mean i think um i like the new body type uh it you know pr proportion wise like do i think her neck is a little bit long like yeah maybe like if you think about it too long you start to think oh this could be different this could be different you know but i think on first glance like she's fine i think she's she looks fine um because they didn't make draculaura's neck thicker you know and she's like a curvy doll so i feel like okay you know caddy <laughs> like why should they do it for caddy like i just you know it, I mean, whatever um but uh, yeah i think she looks cute the outfit is it looks better here with the higher quality like the sleeves look like i look actually much better with the with you know being able to tell that the material here uses like a uh, vinyl for the sleeves that look like a bow um and then we have the necklace with the number 13 of course and then we have the shattered pattern on her dress in silver the belt is cute then we also have like the pink underlayer of the dress um i don't know if i love the dress and how it's constructed but i i like the idea of it so i feel like it's it's good enough <laughs> but it could have been better i think uh someone uh girlies and ghouls um s stated that it would have been better perhaps if it would have been like shorts uh i think that would have been interesting like a pair of shorts and maybe like with an overskirt uh you know over this over the shirts almost something like almost like how kitty k was designed with you know from omg like i feel like something like that would have been more pop star vibe like a vibe like that would have been cuter um but this is fine a simple dress the boots are amazing they're cute but the paint job is really bare it's just a little bit of silver on the heart buckle and then the tail she does have a tail but it's like a, you can't really see it here and the tail is also like a new mold it's a little bit thicker so yeah i think she, her face looks better here i think the hairstyle works the high ponytail um i wish she would have had like a side parting you know um 
it just it would give me Ariana Grande vibes and I mean oh, oh, come on like we all know that she you know Miss Miss Caddy she's a little bit inspired by Ariana Grande with her high ponytail and a pink and you know, everything or just in a cat motif like I just think um that the side ponytail like the side parting with the hair because uh, she already has the hair po she already has the high ponytail like right so that side part would have just really you know would have been so cute but uh she's still iconic i i love her i think that i guess accessories are also fun um her pet i don't know the pet's name but uh that's cute the iphone a magazine um yeah this is really cute i think she's cute i don't have really a lot of, against her um i can't wait to see what her physical you know real life doll will look like and and if it'll change at all so. girlies and ghouls also shared this picture of the artwork for Halloween, which we had seen before and nefra which has leaked uh, before as well um stating that the streets are saying Halloween and nefra could be our next new ghoul um you know core for the core series three dolls for next year um and if the streets are correct we could see them as soon as next fall and that means that a spectra and caddy would be um moved up to really earlier next year and not next fall which we all thought that was the case so i guess spectra and caddy would have to be releasing um around summer you know uh, that time and then that means that haulina nefra which would then be series three um they would release then like at the end of next year so that's interesting um i think there could be some truth in that and i mean i feel like they know more than i do so if they're saying this then this is probably um that what's gonna happen so i'm excited to see you know their dolls um with anephra you know like what kind of a body type will they give her with helene as well like will she be will she be petite like draculaura but like less curvy um and then also like who would join them with this uh, latest series would it be jennifer would it be skeleta or mercedes uh personally i need a mercedes doll right now um she's already she's already appeared in the series it just makes sense so i think uh, mercedes would be a, a reasonable choice jennifer hasn't even um debuted yet uh she's gonna debut in season two apparently so i guess for her to get a doll would make more sense if it happened after season two right so that will make more sense um but yeah let's see what happens i'm excited to see how lean and, uh, and nefra get their doll and how they look like and yeah just it's always exciting to see how they look as their dolls you know like how much changes what they actually end up looking like. then by lou valentine here we can see our first look at the welcome committee fashion pack which actually seems to be like a mini closet including the you know rack and then we have some accessories as well and we can see also here um how they will look like on the actual adults like on deuce abby or on like a normal type like draculaura so very interesting um the actual pieces seem to be a pair of pants um uh, a t uh two shirts i believe and a skirt so that's four fabric pieces overall and i think it's a really uh, a cute design with the rainbow gradient uh, print and then also the monster high uh, logo with the shirt um and then we also have like a ton of hangers so yeah i think this is a really cute little set it depends how much it costs though if this is really worth it but um i don't think it's going to be too expensive um since it has it has no dolls and so i think like 15 would make sense 15 10 bucks 15, probably 15 15 bucks uh i don't think 20 would it be 20 bucks i don't know, maybe i guess but um this is supposed to go in hand with the welcome committee frankie doll so they're supposed to go you know hand in hand that Monster release of all the season finale starts off with the students attending their last class for the day before it's the prom time we get this moment between torlai and her mom about you know her friendship now with claudine and how you know torlai's mom she wants her to you know not be friends with claudine because obviously claudine's mom is her arch nemesis so it's kind of like conflicting with her plan uh then the monster ball starts off we see everyone make their grand entrance we see the amulet holders take some pictures and then we get this cute moment with twyla asking autumn patch the dj for a pair of headphones because she forgot hers um at home and i love this detail because it's just a small little thing that shows um representation for autistic people i just think it's really important and this once again twyla i love her character and i love how they keep just showing the different sides of autism in her own way and then we have this moment between um 
Torlai and Claudine.、Uh, Torlai asks Claudine if she can help, but you know Claude and Claudine they're like,、yeah, we don't need your help because we can only have the people in the chamber who have the talismans. It would be dangerous if you would come along. So she doesn't come along. But I also think her outfit is so cute. Like what the heck? She's so adorable.、Um, so they start the the thing to、uh, get the portal open. They place the talismans on the ground, and then the Portal starts to open, but then we see Katerina enter and take the power for herself with her own makeshift talisman that she created for herself. Then they start battling. We get a little glimpse of Claudine's mom via the portal, saying that there's a another amulet at her house, Claudine's house, that's actually the human. Uh, talisman. I keep forgetting. Is it talisman? An amulet? I don't know.、Uh, but then Katerina get gets out of there with Hades's power,、um, and she actually locked the others in via rubble, and you know, locking all the exits. So they are now stuck here in the chamber with Torlai as well, because she came in last second to help them out, and she feels a little bit guilty because obviously it's her mom who's been doing all this trouble. Then thanks to Dracula's witchcraft, they get out of there with a spell. And then Frankie gets a you know little、uh, vision of the human amulet, and so they、uh, have to get it to obviously open a portal again. Cleo almost gets hypnotized via you know Katarina's new power of glamour, which is a vampire's power to hypnotize、um, the students, which is what she's doing to the whole school to fall under her leadership because she wants to rule over all monster kind, not just where where animal where、uh, where. Where creatures,、uh, all of monsters, she wants to rule over, which is obviously we don't want a dictatorship, girl. So we don't want that. So they go to Claudine's house. They retrieve the human amulet, which was right there,、um, and then we can see here back at Monster High, everyone's again hypnotized by Katarina's spell,、um, and then we see Twyla again. She's not affected by the spell because she has had the headphones on the whole time. So Cleo gets an idea to get the rest of the headphones to protect themselves while they do the spell again. So they,、uh, Claudine, now with the human amulet,、uh, she gives the wear amulet, the the wear the moon claw amulet to Torlai, so she can help out. So she trusts her with the amulet, which is like such a cute detail. It's like a full circle detail because obviously you know they were enemies and now they're friends. So they confront Katerina. They try to they battle her,、um, and then at the end they succeed. But Katerina lands one last blast to Claudine, which turns her to stone, and Katerina is now unconscious. The other students are back to themselves, and now we get a little spell to get back Claudine to normal. The group hug,、uh, but they still have to get Claudine. Claudine's mom, Torla, gives her the moon claw necklace back because she has to take care of her own mom, which is a also a nice moment because it just shows that you know even though Torla's mom is not a very good person,、uh, Torla still cares for her, which is like you know really sweet. So、uh, there we go, we get the portal, it opens up, and this time, yay, Selena, he's back, and then they share a group hug, and then they. Re-enter the、um, Monster Ball dance floor. They kneel before Selena, or that's what we thought. Actually, they're kneeling before Claudine because you know she's the one who actually defeated、uh, Katrina, so she's the new wear ruler or whatever. So that's that's interesting. That's definitely very interesting.、Um, and so she's also very surprised. We get a little clip here with the other characters. I just I love seeing these characters interact with Manny explaining that she's into Twilight. So yeah, Maddie's into Twyla. Who would have known? So Draculaura, she had to perform witchcraft and she,、uh, to, in several points,、uh, you know, exposing herself to to everyone else, you know, that she's a witch. And so、uh, now Headmistress Bucket also knows, but she swears to try to change this、uh, rule.、Uh, hopefully that will be resolved in the next season. So they celebrate, and then here, oh my God, look, Twyla and Manny.、Um, we get Heath, a cute moment, cute moment with with、uh, Heath and Abby. We get a moment. Here with,、uh, you know, Frankie and Cleo,、um, with Gail and Laguna, and also here with Claudine's parents. What? There's they're dancing. Oh, so cute.、Um, and also with Claude and、uh, Drakey Laura. And here we can see they're setting up the dinner table, and they invited Torlai because I guess she's、um, alone now since her mom is like,、um, I'm assuming in prison because she like mind controlled. <laughs> The whole school? I don't know. Is, is there going to be like repercussions for what she did, or or is she like a 
just recuperating somewhere in a hospital. I don't know. I don't know the, the statistics of what's happening. But um, yeah, really cute. We get the ending, the ending shot here of them eating dinner. And uh, I just love how you know, Torlai and Claudine's friendship really evolved. Like, that's my favorite part. And just like the whole season was so amazing. I cannot wait for season two. <laughs> and that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you would like to support the channel, then consider becoming a member today. Uh, and so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay peachy. Kisses. Happy weekend.